photo editing training video. Let's first select an image to add to the canvas. And once you have an image added to the canvas, we're going to unlock the image and pan into the image by clicking on the sun star. You will notice a quality indicator in the lower right hand corner. And we highly recommend that you stay within an OK quality zone for your image to ensure a good quality photo album. Let's take a look at the basic filters. When clicking on Enhance, you will see that you have the ability to adjust the brightness, contrast, and gamma. And or click here to load the original image as well as RGB, Curve, and or click here to load the original image should you decide that you are not satisfied with the changes that you made. Level, Blur, you can also adjust the brush size and your feather size. And with Colorize, you can select the color you desire with the droplet and change the opacity and level. And Feather, in addition to the softness of the edges with the feather. You can also adjust the amount of opacity as well as and a check mark in the maintain aspect ratio. You may want to keep the original as 1 by 1, 2 by 3, 3 by 4, 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 5 by 6, 5 by 7, 5 by 8, and or 16 by 9. You can also denote your own width and or height of the image as well as the DPI and the units in either pixels, images, centimeters, and or millimeters. You can also click to rotate the image. You can adjust the angle as desired. Clicking on Show Grid allows you to view the edges of your photo to make any necessary adjustments that you like. With any of your basic filter modes, you can always see the before and after by clicking here. Clicking on Save allows you to save your work. Clicking on Save As allows you to save a copy of the changes that were made and keeping the original photo intact. 